Hey, everybody, this is Nick Quenker from TheHyperLoof.com. And uh, thank you for being a patron. This is for our tournament prep tier. Just giving you more content than you usually would from the mothership. Today we're going to do a little deck. Tech. Uh, just construction. Looking at various options with similar th uh, themes and whatnot. Uh, before the Gandork Holocron... I was playing this deck. It was Hera Lando uh, Armored Reinforcements. I thought it had some merit, but eventually it just seemed that it was not good enough. Just too many, too much action cheating. Just playing too fair. But now that we are in a world without Chopper, uh, a world where Armored Reinforcements has been nerfed, a uh, world with less uh desperate measures uh, i i think uh i think that's all great for this deck and uh, it's a lot of fun to play and it does does good damage it gets good amount of resources so yeah i think it's definitely something worth looking at uh, i think we're going to do some more videos with the new gandork stuff um, my biggest concerns are obviously raylo and palpatine are testing those matchups uh, palpatine might be tough uh, but I have really, really tried to get away from doing uh, indirect damage. I think indirect damage is pretty bad right now, considering that Raylo can just put them on shields, and Palpatine can just put it on whoever he's with. So, uh, why Hera? Why Lando? So, Hera is incredibly powerful. She has a great ability that lets you untap, sorry, ready a vehicle. That's pretty self-explanatory. That's sort of a late game thing. Uh, your opponents may be scared and kill Hera first, which, um, you know, whichever of these two characters that kills, you're going to be sad. Um, but uh, Hera in particular has uh, the advantage of being kind of hard to kill because of armored reinforcements and uh, this card here, the Padme uh, Royal Starship. And this card here, when you get it with armor reinforcements, it will be giving a shield every turn to Hera, which is obviously really good uh, because it sort of it automatically bumps her H her health up to ten. And if they're not attacking her every turn, she will get an additional, which will bump her up to a twelve. So if they decide to go for Hera, they're going to have to fight through that at least for two turns. That makes her an eleven health. Plus you're going to have this uh, card, which I think is very good. Um, on top of that, uh, it has a two shield side, and a lot of your other cards have shield sides. So uh, I think the plan here is uh, armed reinforcements, for those who don't know, in the Gandor Holocron, is now only red vehicle. So we're pretty much limited to Padme Amidala's Royal Starship, or you can get Crate Speeder. But I think in this uh, going longer... Uh, also, just giving us consistency with the three shield side, uh, the three uh, focus side, and the two resource side. Uh, both of those things are excellent. Uh, and uh, I actually think that the plan is a lot of uh, we can actually put uh, laser turret and dorsal turret on the uh, the, the starship, uh, making it incredibly uh, scary for your opponents. Uh, if you get the focuses, then you can pay two ready if you have two of these and uh, do about five damage uh, easy five damage um, if you costing two to ready is a lot so you could be looking at four damage guaranteed uh, plus you know you could look at some some random resources uh, also readying it will give uh, hero an extra shield so there's a little bit of synergy there um, I find this to be very similar to Shoto. So I think this uh, Hera's untap, but uh, Hera's ready is really kind of icing on the cake. Because I think a lot of your opponents are going to be scared of that, more so than they are going to be scared of Lando, because uh, this is just so powerful in the late game. The longer the game goes, the better Hera will be. And she has lower health, so she becomes an attractive target. So moving along to Lando, uh, we sort of talked about why why Hera. We need the red character for armed reinforcements. 
But Lando here, he has uh, an incredible uh, resource generation. Also level 11 health, which is about right for his cost. And he also has a power action, which gives you more resources for your yellow vehicles. Uh, he has a two range side. Um, I don't really love his two indirect side, but going late, if he's the last character standing, that turns into a solid damage side if it's one on one. Uh, we are consistently getting uh, the four for the, the four for two with uh, four price and reap. Both these cards excellent with Lando. You definitely want one of these in your opening hand. Uh, and our our battlefield here is the. Uh, the deck is still kind of slow comparatively to uh, a lot of other decks. Um, even though Hera does give us the action cheat of the piloting with our vehicle, a lot of times you want to go slower. It sometimes doesn't work that way. We do have a lot of different kind of sides we're wanting to resolve between money, range, and focus sides and shield sides. Uh, so it's just going to be very slow to the claim. If you get the battlefield, uh, you know, you can take one of Hera's poor dice, like a one of these focuses isn't particularly great early on. If you roll a blank, you can take one of those, get a resource, make your deck a little more consistent. Um, I think most of the time you do want to take their battlefield and go one and one or two and one, depending on your matchup. I don't think you'd ever want to go two on Lando. Um, it's either one and one or two on Hera. Uh, so, furthermore, uh, payoff cards. We do have the Miser's Falcon, which uh, previously with Armored Reinforcements, we could get it, um, and that was very powerful. But now we're sort of, we're kind of locked in on playing Padme Starship. Uh, Escape Craft, if you just draw it, is actually quite good with Lando. It costs one, and for one, that die is completely reasonable. Actually really good if you get the three resource side. Having an extra fixing dice with the focus is nice. But man, when you get that to resource side, it's incredibly uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, resource generation. Uh, this is a card that I wasn't playing in my original version, which is just kind of because I just forgot about it. Uh, I actually been I played it before in a different deck, but uh, it's quite good. Uh, this this color combo and it being hero really struggles to get free things that prevent uh, dice. And this card early on will trade with a a good die, like a, a two range side or a two melee side. Uh, later on, uh, when one of, uh, because Lando is a pilot, even though he doesn't have pilot mode. Uh, later on, if one of your pilots dies, it still does something. It will activate and give a shield. Um, you weren't, you would never play that card in your deck, but if you have, if it's later in the game, you have all these extra cards to pitch. Uh, when one of your characters does die, uh, your cards, some of your cards will be turned off. Uh, it's unfortunate, but there's such high power level, I think it's worth it. Field Medic is just like a solid card. Always does what it does. It's just fine. It keeps your guys alive longer. Uh, very serviceable. Uh, Love Cat and Mouse is... You can take one of Hera's Pro Dice, resolve it, and Love Cat. Um, it does have nice synergy with uh, the dorsal turret's uh, activated ability, because that die when it rolls in is usually not particularly good. Like One range is okay, plus two without rolling it in is not that great, and obviously the blanks are just not great. Obviously terrible. <laughs> so Olaf catting out that, having that little dice and removing their dice for free is pretty good. Um, first aid sort of is can be a blowout if they decide to go for Hera. Um, if you get it in your opening hand, I guess you could, in theory, go two on Lando, but any good player will be able to sniff that out. Uh, but they might just go into it anyways. Some of the some of the decks can, uh, Trandoshans, I still, still think you can play them. Uh, they're way worse, uh, but I would just go one and one if I was trying to bait them to go into Hera. Um, let's moving along. Uh, I have two entangles. Uh, I found that this deck, Calling Late, has a lot of resources because of Lando. You can turn, essentially, a Lando uh, four for two 
and this card into uh, removing two dice, which is really good. Uh, it does when Lando dies, it doesn't do anything, which sucks, but that's the price we paid. And moving along, we have more spot yellows. Uh, I think easy pickings is way better in this format. It can be a huge blot against Palpatine. It can be a huge blot against Raylo, although they do have a lot of ways to play around it. And uh, they don't have a lot of matching sides. Uh, they will be sandbagging. Um, or maybe sandbagging is the wrong word, but they will be slow playing their resolving against you because they can claim uh, but in the later game if they kill Lando if they don't kill Lando that might be a matchup where you do want access to uh, Lando going late so you may actually do two shields up kind of you know talking over myself a little bit uh, contradicting myself rather uh, and also in those matchups you do you don't want to split up your shield so you have to make that decision testing will show I have one merchant freighter uh, I found that this deck has no problem making resources. This could actually be something else. Uh, it could be like a BB a BB8, which is another uh, mod that you could put on something. Uh, I think crate speeder. You don't get the discount from Lando's power action, but it's such a good card. Um, its first shots are two, three, three, two, two. Super good. Super consistent die um, first time it's great second time it's on cost so you're uh, above curve generally um, these are all together with the yellow vehicles and when starfighter can combo um, it's special if they're playing vehicles you can just kill a vehicle um, there are potentially slave ones and uh, pirate ships uh, which can be very annoying uh, there are probably some other vehicle decks that will pop up those are like the big ones that pop into my mind as things that you'd want to remove. And uh, for two, for a cost of two, an ambush, this card uh, is a good rate. Two, three, two, one, and special. Uh, readying whatever you put your, your upgrades on, your mods on, it's going to be really good. Uh, Sabine Rent's TIE Fighter is an unimpressive card uh, if you look at it at its face value, but when you look at it as a one cost, it is uh, the king um, at a one cost. It's it's kind of like a like a DH on crack. Um, it doesn't have like the two for one, which may make it worse. But it being ambush, um, it does have this ability that just like rarely comes up because your opponents will either mess with your die or you actually won't even like this die for one card. A lot of times isn't even worth it. Um, so if you roll hot, it's probably good, but generally speaking, not the best. Uh, so I think that's that's 30 cards. Uh, I'm gonna go into possible cards that we could play. Uh, this is just like general cards. The yeah, second merchant player could be in. Pulse is just sort of like a metagame card that we could play. It's free, so if the metagame is kind to this ability being good, then sure we can play one. We can play two, depending on what it looks like. Um, if Haffer sort of makes a comeback, which I don't know. With it's like fine against Raylo, but Palp without the big, without being able to delve fist is way worse. So probably not. Electroshock is if we thought that we needed one cost removal like this, then I think shock would be the one we look at first. There are a bunch of other ones that we could look at. Um, I don't like a sail because we only have one pilot that pilots. I don't really like any of that. I don't. I don't like eject because we're only playing one pilot. Uh, I like those in like two pilot decks. And BB-8 is just kind of like another one cost mod. Um, one card I didn't put here was also the uh, two cost mod arc, arc caster or I forget exactly what it costs, but it's it's a two cost mod. It's just strictly worse than triple laser turn. Uh, I kind of think I would want this one first to give you the consistency. But it is something to consider if we wanted to go harder on, on Hera. Um, so I have a bunch of other cards here that are grouped together. Um, I think I accidentally deleted Anakin's Pod Racer, but that's a consideration for both uh, the Lando version because it costs one, it's a reasonable die. 
but um, when you're playing Anakin, there's an alternate lineup where you have uh, Kazuto um, and Anakin and Lando, uh, and you have three pilots, which makes uh, flank by wingmen way better because it's going to survive for a long time at a, at a two. So that's interesting. Um, in that deck, Anakin's Pod Racer is way better because anything you resolve with it will make him discard a card that will sort of clear the way for your other dice. You'll always get that, or you'll get the two shield side, which is really, really good uh, sustainability. And uh, you do lose, with this lineup, you would lose out on armored, re armored reinforcements, but uh, you do get a plus six health, and you you would have to adjust your game plan. I think you would play two Anakin's Pod Racers in that deck. Uh, I think the Lando Hera deck, you'd only play one. Our Republic Cruiser is a card that you can consider for any of these decks. Just giving, uh, you have two uniques, uh, two shields uh, on two sides, and the money is like, it's like okay. It depends on like the meta and, and that sort of thing. Um, it's probably not good enough, but I just put it out there because uh, what this really looks like is two resources a lot of times just cancel a die. It's probably not good enough because you do need to put out damage first before you can start dirtling with this. It could be like a one of. Uh, Mechanical Insight's a funny one when you're playing both, if you're playing like BB-8s and you're playing Anakin's Pod Racers. It's probably not enough cards anyways. Um, you could look at regular Pod Racer and you could look at uh, you could look at Anakin's Pod Racer, you could look at another droid, some other other droids that you could play, but probably not good enough. But I just saw it and I was like, alright, let's talk about them. Uh, Garbage Shoot I think is quite, quite good uh, in the metagame uh, going late. Uh, only playable in this three wide variety with Kazuto and... Kazuto, sorry. With Anakin and Kazuto. Um, and there you have, you're sort of going all in on... On Lando, uh, but this card's excellent against Palp. Excellent against it's just like it just has a high upside against both those decks, uh, and you don't really need. Unlike easy pickings, you don't need them to match. Palpatine's generally going to be matching, and who cares if you exhaust this? Um, it can just be such a huge tempo swing. Instead of Kazuda, you could consider something like Rebel Engineer, uh, getting you mods. If you want to go heavier on mods, it's, eh, I don't know. I, I kind of like Kazuda better because uh, his ability is actually quite relevant. The exhaust one and the piloting saves you in action. Uh, and uh, a two range is actually like a good side. This two indirect is just not going to be good. Um, it really only has like probably, yeah, two sides that are really good that you're excited about. And so does Kazuda, but like I think the two range is better than like an extra resource. Going late, and that vehicle side, that vehicle uh, exhausting is actually such a blowout. Uh, going late, uh, additional characters you can consider in various builds is Satine. She's sort of a fixer. Um, I don't know. You could, you could work it out in some way where it all makes sense, uh, money wise. But she's just someone to think about. Um, like engineer, her die is is you know the money sides are really what you want to be seeing early, but uh, she does have this ability to reroll dice, so it makes it more consistent. At ten, obviously, for two dice, you can't really complain about it. Nine health, uh, better than the Re rebel engineer. Um, it's yellow versus red. Uh, rebel, there is the rebel engineer deck that you could play with like double Re rebel engineer. And um, you could maybe play Kazuda, or you could actually play Double Rebel Engineer and Hera, or you could do Rebel Engineer, uh, Yellow 8, or just Anakin, lose on a point. There's like a lot of options here. Um, I didn't put out uh, Master Smuggler. Uh, I think that card's also in consideration. Uh, now, it actually works pretty well with with Lando as well. Um, Satine being a leader also is interesting with 
with uh, if you're doing like Satine, Hera, Armored Reinforcements, and um, give a leader. Okay, yeah. So this, the the shield the shielding on this will last longer, which is good. Um, those decks kind of want to go fat, kind of want to go a little longer when they're three wide. Uh, yeah, you have Han. You can do Han. Han Lando and Han, some other stuff. He's also a pilot. Uh, I don't know. It's just something to think about. Um, Han does have three really good sides. Uh, four if you count the resources. So he has really, really good sides. Um, the two indirect, obviously, like, when you get a resource, is fantastic. Uh, and two two range sides is definitely one you want to, want to, what we, the kind of damage you want to be doing in this format, I feel. We also have Tora. And Tora has her ship, the the Blue Ace, uh, and Tora with Lando. The blue, the blue Ace being a two cost is really good, uh, and her, it it going late um, that die just does a ton of damage. Um, having said that, it's just her die's real bad, <laughs> just to put it bluntly. To indirect, not something that you really want to be doing uh, early on. Two range is fine, and then we have the resource, which we're, we'd be happy with. And her piloting ability saves you actions, uh, but again, uh, those kind of decks are just going to require a lot of actions anyways. Um, maybe makes it so you can claim faster. You could try maybe, to like, like, you know, if you think about it this way, if you do Tora Doza, Hera armor reinforcements is like way worse than Lando because you're not getting that ability to get two free resources, two extra resources. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you thought of the style of video. I know HS has done it before. Um, you can end the video here. I'm gonna look for I'm gonna look for the blue ace just to show that off. Uh, resolve this die, remove any number. After you resolve this die, you may place one resource on the support. So, for two, it's fine. Uh, you know, when you have Torodoza, then uh, this over time will get uh, increasingly more disgusting. So, if you, you know, just, it's kind of like the opposite of Crate Speeder. You know, you resolve a two, like, it's just the problem is that it's, the first time you resolve it, it's just kind of poopy. Like, you're not really excited. You're like, all right, I'll resolve this one range. I'll resolve this two and drag. I'll resolve this two shield. Eh. The longer the game goes, obviously, it gets good. And there are, there are some cute things you could do, like, maybe just keep on, keep on pumping uh, ways to cheat resources onto this. Uh, I don't think that's worth it. That's just too cute. Um... Get Anakin's pod racer out here. Yeah, so okay, I think I I think I accidentally tweeted it. So yeah, that's it. Just let me know what you think. Um I'm definitely gonna be trying this out. Um I do I am going to put together the Kazuda uh Lando. Uh I think this is kinda cool. Um yeah, I think I, I like this. Uh, the consistency for mannequins, just flipping over his pod racer. Uh, I think uh, BB-8 gets pretty good. It gets much better here. You know, eh, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's not, you're not just like, you're not, oh, it's so good. It's fine. It's really his pod racer. And that's why you might think about a card like that. You're like, okay, I'm going hard on this pod racer. And if I, like, play two BB-8s. Then it's maybe worth it, but probably not. But I do like the double and I do like the double pot, pot racer when you're playing this. It's a one cost. It's super super good. That just seems like um, definitely something I want to be doing. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a patron. Uh, and as always, uh, may the rolls be with you.